Yo, what is going on everyone? It's your boy, Exploring with Nick. Today, I'm doing my first ever what's in my bag video when I go exploring. We're gonna jump right into it. This is my, this is my bag I've been using. Uh, pretty, pretty minimalist, I'd say, I guess, you know? <laughs> uh, doesn't have too much going on for it. Uh, I love how it's just simple. I, I don't need nothing crazy. The, one of the things that actually drew my eye to it is that it's, it's a little hard to tell, but this is not a big, huge backpack. This is a nice, normal sized backpack that you could put two cameras in. And uh, most, of your, most of my stuff actually I need can fit in here. Some cool features that I like, it has this little uh, secret, secret uh, door, I guess you could say right here. It's a little secret uh, pouch. You could put, uh, you know, you could put like uh, some memory, extra memory cards and stuff in there. When I was traveling, I, uh, I was using it for my, my passport. So I'll just put my passport in there, zip it up, don't worry about it. Um, let's see, on the outside here, going over the outside, I have a uh, Peak Design uh, quick release plate on here. This is a must have for me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of having uh, straps around my neck. So when I'm done shooting or uh, taking video or whatever, uh, I just put, it right, put my camera right here. It locks into place. Don't even have to worry about it. And then there's nothing like swinging around your neck. So I definitely recommend one of these if you don't have one. Uh, going over the rest of the, uh, the bag here, uh, pretty, uh, like I said, pretty, pretty simple, nothing, nothing too crazy. Little pouch right here for, uh, I guess you could put like water or a tripod in here. It, it just uh, snaps in right here. And then you also got this uh, quick release right here on the side. If you, if you set it up properly, you could just open this up, go inside, take your camera out and start shooting. I personally just don't use that, uh, that feature. I, like I said, I usually just have my camera ready to go right here. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, look inside, see what we got inside going on here. All right, so here's the, the bag here. Uh, first pouch I have here, what do I have? I got my extra light. So the first thing I have, I have this, uh, this light. Uh, definitely recommend it, super bright. Uh, first video I used this on is when I explored a uh, bunker that was pretty, uh, pretty far underground and I would 100% recommend this light. Uh, really easy to work, really easy to operate. You just hold this button right here, turns on, boom. Can't really tell how bright this is, but this thing is, but this thing will really light up the room. It's, uh, it's awesome. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't recommend this more. Um, I was exploring for a long time with just a, just a regular handheld flashlight, and that, uh, that kind of sucked. Okay, what else do I have? Uh, some hand sanitizer. Uh, next pouch we have here, uh, pen. You never know when you're gonna have to write something down. And uh, let's see here, all of my extra batteries for, all the cameras that are inside the bag here in this little pouch right there. I'll just keep them in there, make sure they're always charged. This pouch right here, uh, additional batteries. And then for the microphone, got some more, uh, more, more batteries it takes. All right, so if I'm exploring, this is gonna be my setup when I'm, actual, when I'm actually exploring. It would probably change a little bit when I'm uh, taking pictures of people. But when I'm exploring, this is the setup I'm gonna use. Sony A7 III, uh, great camera, takes awesome pictures, really good. Right now though, I personally use it as, um, as a backup camera. Uh, really good, mainly for photos. I love the photos coming out of this thing. It's, they're, they're awesome, awesome photos. What my main setup is when I'm exploring with this camera, I'm gonna pair it with the, uh, the G lens here. This isn't a G Master, this is just a G. Um, the G20, uh, really good lens for landscapes, which is my, one of my favorite things to take pictures of. Or if you're vlogging and exploring, you put these together and um, it's gonna have a good feel, uh, good, good feel of view right there. Let's go to the next, uh, next camera. This is my main camera that I use for everything. This is the Canon RP. Awesome camera. As of right now, making this video, this is my favorite camera that I've ever had. Uh, love this thing. It has the flip out screen that I love so much. Um, so you can see yourself when you're vlogging. That's like a must have for, for any vlogger out there. So you could hold it and see yourself. Uh, I have the, I have the 24 on here, the 24 to uh, 105 L, L lens. Excellent. This is an excellent combo right here for me. It works, works. This works excellent for me for vlogging. Uh, has a nice grip. You can vlog, take pictures. Um, just excellent. I, I love, I love Canon. If, I'm gonna admit, I am a Canon fanboy. So I actually even like this camera more than my, 
the uh, the Sony A7 III. <laughs> All right, next thing that's in the uh, next thing that's in the bag here, GoPro. This is the GoPro 7. Have it in a uh, little cage here that clips onto stuff, so this could. This could, uh, you know, clip on a lot of things here, uh, you know, like fences, poles, that type of thing. Makes it really handy. Could even clip it onto your, um, to your shoulder pad. So if you're, if you're wearing the bag, you could even put it onto your bag and then just flip this to the side like that, and then you got a first-person view. I actually do that a lot. When I first started my channel, this is the actual only thing I used to use, and I didn't even have a microphone. So I would accredit this to, to all those, those those first videos I made with the bad sound, but the video was awesome. This thing doesn't shake, it keeps everything nice and smooth, and I would still recommend this for vlogging too. What I use this for now though, is I use it more for like a, a backup camera for, for shots, like I'll, I'll usually attach it to my, my bag, just to have it on there, just to make sure if I didn't miss a shot, because I just always, I just turn it on and then just keep it running. I don't ever turn this thing off once I turn it on until I'm actually done exploring. So really nice thing to have uh, backup video and for backup uh, audio, just in case your audio is messed up. I've actually had to do that a couple times. Um, but yeah, I started my YouTube channel with this, so I got uh, nothing but uh, nothing but love for it. Um, really cool device, steady. There's no shakes with it. Uh, the only gripe I guess I would have about it is that now that I've I've become more into filmmaking, uh, I don't like. I'm not a big fan of that fisheye look anymore. I used to really actually like that look a lot, but now I'm more into the uh, um, the regular flat horizon look with uh, the colors not being so insane. Like the colors on this thing are really insane and lately I've been more into a, a flatter uh, natural look if you could say because this this exaggerates everything like I would say like plus 10. <laughs> uh. Alright so the uh, top top portion here what do we got on the top portion? Top portion is the drone. This is the Parrot. Anafi, love this drone. I may upgrade down the line, uh, that'll be for a future video, but I've been looking at the, uh, the new uh, DJI uh, Mini 3, which uh, that actually looks awesome, but uh, save that for another video. <laughs> so this is my drone that I use here. Really easy to use, simple. Uh, first drone I ever had. Uh, crashed it a couple times, if you guys could tell. I had to uh, super glue this part right here. If that focuses there we go yeah can you see that that super glue right there still works though <laughs> I think I've crashed it like three times now and then the uh, last thing I have in the pouch here is uh, the controller to the to the um, drone this basically you just gonna flip this up and you put your you put your uh, your phone right in there and then you can see what you're doing where you're going uh, awesome drone and some other things I don't keep on actually in my bag, but I keep on me. Uh, basically, I have my iPhone watch. This is a super old one. Got this for a gift. Um, I, I like to, you know, track the miles and everything that you've gone on. It, it's pretty, it could be pretty handy. My tripod. So this is a, a Peak Design tripod. Uh, awesome. This is how I take a lot of my, this is how I take a lot of my selfies because a lot of times I'm out there exploring by myself. Uh, one of the reasons why this tripod caught my eye is because it's it's a little hard to tell, but it's super small. Super small tripod. Uh, one of the things that caught my eye on it is that it has the quick release plate, just like my shoulder strap, like I was saying. So if I want to, all I have to do is, I have my quick release plates on the cameras. All I have to do is just attach it in like that, and it's an easy, easy go. I don't have to worry about unscrewing things and all that other stuff that just holds up the process. Cool tripod and I'll definitely recommend it for exploring. All right, another thing that I carry on me in my pockets would be uh, this knife. This is, uh, I've had this for a while now. It's a little dull, but I always take it with me because you never know when you're gonna actually need a knife. And this one is uh, a Kershaw knife. Don't think they're too much, uh, probably, uh, I don't know. I forgot exactly how much this was. I think it was like around $30 on Amazon. And the last thing that I actually have in my bag is this secret, secret uh, compartment here. And this is used for the Insta360. Now this thing, you guys, if you guys watch my videos, which you probably do, um, this thing right here uh, allows me to get that 360 view that I sometimes put in my videos and that, um, that uh, third person look. Uh, so yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I keep in the pouch over there. I would not take this with me if I'm taking pictures of people, but uh, that's, this is what I carry on me 
this is what I carry on me when I'm when I'm exploring. Good camera to have, uh, you know, if you're into that third person uh, 360 view. I would recommend this. This whole pool is is uh, it's magic. It just makes the makes the pool disappear, which is crazy. I don't even know how it does that. <laughs> and if I'm traveling, I would keep my my Mac in there. That is pretty much the last thing. I got the cover on it because I like I like uh, like I was saying favorite color. Everything pretty much matches. Uh, all black. And that is it for the bag. And like I was saying, you know, some things may come in, come in here and change. Like if you're, if you're not, if I'm not exploring, if I'm taking pictures just for take, take landscapes, or if I'm just taking pictures of people, some things may change. But for the most part, I always keep it the way it just was because I mostly explore. And one of the other things that I carry on me at all, at all times, just like everyone else, is an iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, the smallest version because you know they're they are a lot of money um i like to take pictures with this uh, back up i also vlog with this there's been a couple times uh um when my my camera my actual rp has died because those batteries are really small and uh if if uh if the batteries die you know what else are you going to do you're going to have to take out your phone this is another thing you can vlog with uh and then uh take pictures with and um iphones have come a long way i would definitely recommend this uh, for for pictures uh, videos they're they're actually really good and it's really getting starting to get to the point where you don't even need a professional camera no more you could just you could just use this and I know that sounds weird but iPhone cameras are coming a long way I remember in some old videos some of my older videos I was like oh an iPhone camera will never an iPhone camera will never be as good as a a professional camera but they're getting to the point now where I'm like you it's hard to tell the difference it honestly is <laughs> but yeah I have this in my pocket on me at all times and I couldn't recommend it more all right everyone this is going to be the end of the video hope you enjoyed this uh, this little video hopefully it was informative a little bit on on how I create and how uh, how my thought process is on, on when I'm out there exploring. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to sub if you haven't so already. Shoot, explore, and never quit. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.